Yep, I'm gonna do this since I'm over here. Ah, crazy lady. Not the one I want. Oh, this is the right way. place I think oh how do I have to go in no I must go I need to go around the other way Perhaps it was this way? I forget how to get in there. Assuming I think I've been in there before. And then we're back at Lady Ashbury's. Move this now. Is there anything to connect me to this city anymore? Someone you're close to. How do I get up there? Maybe I go through... Charlotte Ashbury, the adopted daughter of Elizabeth, is a strong young woman with first-hand knowledge of vampires. She recently revealed her interest in the subject to her best friend Emily, who shares her romantic enthusiasm for the immortal figures. Charlotte fears this recent interest may have put Emily in trouble. Since the young woman has recently disappeared, Charlotte would like me to investigate about this absence. That doesn't tell me how to get into her fucking house.
maybe I can get in there from this house. Hello, Venus. Hello, Jonathan. Please come in. Oh, I don't need to beat around the bush this time. Is there a back door to the balcony? Aha! I figured it out. No invitation is needed to enter this building. That can't be a good sign. No sign of a struggle. It seems Charlotte's friend knew the killer and let him in. What do you mean, killer? I don't know if she's dead. Blood. I should follow the trail. Well, there's a possibility now. Emily's love letter. Hmm. My dear Jacques, I can't wait to see you again. Tonight? Tomorrow? I can hardly wait. Since we kissed on that bridge while the moon was so bright in the night sky, I want to feel your teeth again on my lips. Oh, the excruciating pain of your sweet bite on my neck. Oh god. She did meet a vampire. Fuck. You devil, you. The longest second ever. I feared you were going to kill me right there, on the bridge, in the middle of the night. No, my dear Jacques. You remain the delicate fiancé I know you are, and you are only teasing me. I can't wait to drink your blood. For good this time. And come back to my sweet friend Charlotte as an immortal. Play with her a little first, of course. Like you taught me how to play with mortals. And then I'll turn her into one of us too. And we will rule the Knights of London. Cleanse the city of its impure souls. Well, at least she's not planning on having a child with him as a mortal. A vampire? Something must have gone wrong. Someone is responsible for this mess. But who? Yeah, it's a good thing that she didn't decide to have a child with him. As, uh, well... Well, yeah, I, I, we all read that, uh, little excerpt from the Guard of Prewin. Oh, her blood trail. Ah, here we go. I heard screaming. Who are you? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. I'm the Marquis de Bois Colombe, and I strongly invite you to find your own game, sir. I appreciate the invitation, but I'm here to solve the mystery concerning the death of a young woman killed by a vampire. A young woman killed by a vampire? Oh, <laughs> you're joking, right? Oh, I do love the British sense of humor. You're French. Why did you spell humor with a U? Haha! -ha. You're secretly British. And who exactly are you? I am Jacques Michel Guillaume Florimond, the Marquis de Bois Colombe, at your service, my dear cousin. That's a long fucking name. You're French, but your English is quite good. I was born in France, sir, but I consider myself a traveler of this world. Mmm, so many countries, so many tantalizing tastes. Wonderful. Dear cousin, are we related? We could be of the same blood, my dear. I tend to consider all Econs as family, don't you? Not really. What are you doing here? I recently decided to visit London. I've always dreamed of visiting a city on the verge of collapse. Such a delicate, yet intense spectacle. Came to the right place. You take pleasure from others' misery. I have been a totally depraved and immoral creature since the day I was reborn, sir. And probably before. What, you're not sure? 
What do you plan to do here? Take pleasure. Take pictures. Enjoy the show. Have fun. Believe me, I won't be the only foreign immortal who bought a ticket to the fair. I followed the trail of blood from her room to here. Oh, you're referring to that young woman. Yes, the meeting turned messy. I'm afraid I ruined my last wedding goat. So you admit you murdered her? I admit nothing, my good sir. I only regret the blood of that girl staining my clothes. Oh, blood can be so messy. What happened? She wanted to become one of us. Not the first time I have received such a proposal, but uh, I must admit her direct approach tempted me. And then what? The body rejected my blood. It happens, you know, sometimes even with voluntary prey. At least her gurglings brought me some fun, until the artery burst. Eh, I'm inclined to believe you. I believe you, sir. Emily's diary confirms your statement. Oh, Emily was her name. Quite charming. Well, mystery solved then. Yes, I suppose so. You can go. And so can you. Farewell, sir. May you enjoy the spectacle of this fallen city as much as I do. Yeah, I, I, I have good reason to believe that it was in fact her rejecting it. Tell Abby. Get it? Because he, he's French? Don't look at me like that. It's funny and you know it. It could be someone you know. Even this someone you know. This is only the first. Good evening, Miss Ashbury. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Oh, Cooper's on. Does he not know I'm recording? I'll tell him. I have found out what happened to your friend, Emily. I can handle the truth. There's no need to hide the bloody details. Your friend was planning to become... <laughs> America. <laughs> she thought she'd met an honest one and made a deal with him. Unfortunately, Emily did not survive the process. My mother told me many times about the risks of being turned. I often suspected she exaggerated the danger to avoid me being tempted. No, the risk is real. Have you any idea what a body has to endure to become an organism entirely consumed by its need to process and recombine blood? I should never have talked to Emily about vampires. I never thought she'd actually try it without me. Thank you, sir. Here, take this for your discretion. Oh, fancy. Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother when you see. She's been. Are the stats of this stake? Thirty-five st Thirty-five stone. Light. But solid stake card from the strongest ironwood. Letter C A are engraved on its base. The cat parry? I don't want it. I'm more of a sword person, but I don't have a two-handed sword, so... Oh, the scythe can parry as well. It does have a lot of stun to it, though, which is really nice. Picked up for this. I might, I might upgrade this for the hell of it. 
See how, see how well it does comparatively. Yeah, I'm gonna go do that right now. Actually, I don't think I mentioned this yet, but I am recording this on the 4th of July, so that's what Cooper was talking about on Steam. <laughs> That's why it was like a barrack of 1776. That, that video he sent me was probably some, was probably the National Anthem Ear Rape. That's probably what it was. Is. Whatever. Ah, not enough lead. Hmm. One, five, four, and this one. Hmm. I need more light if I want to upgrade it more, but let's see what I want to put on here first. Well, it certainly can't compare to it right now, so I'll have to try it later once I upgrade it to at least the third level. No, fourth level. What? There's three. The jovial and self-centered hedonist, Calhoun Russell claims he is always happy to try exotic new meals. If I ever find an intriguing table, he would like me to report back to him and share the address. I wonder what kind of restaurant would please and surprise a man of such delicate taste. Uh, I'm, I believe that that's the Ascalon Club, so uh... Unless there's other restaurants around it. Time for me to find out. By searching this dank alley. I'm sure Kaloon Russell has no interest in such a conventional menu. There's a no there. Go away, you stupid unwanted marker. Here, I thought that circle was pointing me towards the Ascalon Club. Let go, I'll just feed him to the Ascalon Club. Find a menu around here. Hmm. I was a bit slow on the reaction there. Ah, yes, here's a fine restaurant. 
trash can. I don't think he likes the taste of shillings, though. Oh, a shortcut. Wait, where am I? Oh, yes, I'm here. Don't really want to be here. 